Designated by Congress in 2006, the Gullah Geechee Cultural Heritage Corridor extends from Wilmington, North Carolina to the north of Jacksonville, Florida in the south. It is home to one of America's most unique cultures, a tradition first shaped by captive Africans brought to the South United States from West Africa and continued in later generations by their descendants. After the 2013 proclamation by Governor Nathan Jill, Southern states, Georgia, North and South Carolina, and Florida acknowledge the culture, lives, and history of the Gullah Geechee Heritage and Cultural Corridor and Nation. In celebration of Gullah Geechee Heritage Observance Month, the Auburn Avenue Research Library on African American Culture and History hosts the Gullah Geechee Film Festival each October. Supported by the library's reference and research and archive services, visual and artistic displays are adorned throughout the library to further celebrate the life, culture, and history of Gullah Geechee and Low Country areas. In addition to Auburn's Gullah Geechee and Low Country resources, bibliographies are also provided and selections of various mediums and perspectives of Gullah Geechee culture and life. Auburn also provides resources and reading materials for little minds. Episodes of Gullah Gullah Island, Tales from the Gullah, and other resources provide a range of experiences for little scholars exploring Gullah Geechee history. There are children's books and large print selections to assist any reader illustrating a colorful history and narrative. October is observed as Gullah Geechee Cultural Heritage Month, located along Low Country region along the coast of North and South Carolina, Georgia, and up until the coastal peak of Florida, the Gullah Geechee Cultural Heritage Corridor and Nation is a community preserved by its geographic location, literacy, and oral history. Barrels of indigo, pigeon peas, and weaving sweet grass baskets. This community's cultural survival is seen in everyday images and elements. The Gullah Geechee culture is a community uniquely comprised of West and Central African descendants and some Georgian Native American tribes. Upon arriving to what is now considered the southern states, these individuals also fashion their own Gullah language, an African-based Creole, in an approach to preserve their African languages. Electronic resources and historical information about indigo production and its contribution to low country and southeast Georgia economy are also provided. A detailed bibliography highlighting white settlers and plantation owners, such as Eliza Pickney, are also provided to illustrate the manipulation of blacks in servitude, bondage, and also stories and narratives through the American slavery. Not only did this community preserve their historical legacy, yet fellowship and established schools, churches, and entrepreneur businesses that are still in existence today. Residents knowingly are referred to as Geechee or Gullah. Terms like fresh or saltwater Geechee or Gullah distinguish residents born on the mainland or Sea Island or Isles. Auburn provides not only electronic, but also historical narratives and oral histories of residents and local communities near the Gullah Geechee Historical Corridor and Nation. Children's adaptations of Gullah histories and television productions are also included, among titles such as Daughters of the Dust. In-depth bibliographies and research guides include electronic resources. Call numbers are also included for patrons to easily inquire and obtain resources. Auburn maintains a non-circulating policy. However, patrons are able to utilize electronic resources as our library is currently not open to the general public. Suggested search terms and key terms within bibliographies are to provide patrons additional research guidance. For more information, browse Auburn's official website and bibliographies for research guides, resources, and materials. For research assistance, Schedule a research consultation with an Auburn librarian today.